Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to show how I incorporate text slides into a slideshow in Adobe Lightroom. This is a follow-on to a previous video where I showed how I create a slideshow in Lightroom and save it in a PDF format so that it can be shown from any computer. I'll put a link to that video below uh, if you haven't already seen that. So in this video I'm going to show how I go about creating text slides and how I insert them into the Lightroom um, slideshow. First thing we're going to do here is open up slideshow and this is the catalog that I used previously to set up the uh, initial collection of images and then the slideshow itself uh, which is stored here with all our uh, embellishments for the slideshow all set up so that's all in the previous video so now we've got images we've got a title page uh, here we have got our end page here and I, sh I, I showed how to put a graphical uh, element into uh, one of these pages but that's really all we got uh, and sometimes uh, in a presentation, maybe you want to talk about some technical issues other than just showing the images and talking to the images. So um, rather than have to bounce in and out of something like PowerPoint or go to the trouble of putting the images into a PowerPoint presentation, this is why in the first instance I use Lightroom to do presentations. It's just the image handling is so easy uh, and I can structure the presentation, order the images and I've got con control over the image quality and I don't need to create exported files. I don't have to resize anything. I have none of those problems. And also the fact is that the presentation then is in the screen format. So without further ado, the first thing I'm going to do is go over to Google Docs. Now, you could probably use other presentation software. It's just I find Google Docs works extremely well for me and very easy to set up a presentation in Google Documents in Google Slides. So you can see here I've got some. There is the, the graphic that I used uh, previously um, for the, um, the exit screen on the presentation. And I've got other images here which I've already created. Now I'm not going to go into how those were done because this isn't a demo of Google Docs per se. It's pretty intuitive if you've ever used something like PowerPoint you'll know how to go about it and you can mix text with images which is always a nice thing to do. And uh, so I've, I've basically got a number of slides here created around my basic workflow of image processing. So I want to get those into my Lightroom document. Well, the first thing I could try is if I go up to File here and I can then download as is the, is the command that we're looking for. And you can see here that I can actually download the images, the individual slides as JPEGs. And you might think that's great or even PNG files. We talked about that previously. So there is one problem and I will show the problem now. Whenever you use that, the image that comes up is this one here. And the problem with this, as you can see on my screen, it's kind of small. In fact, it's 960 pixels by 540 pixels, which isn't particularly great. And when it's scaled up, as you can already see, the, the image quality for the, the stored images in these is terrible. So we've got to get uh, a way of getting these slides out so that we've got a larger image to work with that we can bring into Lightroom. So the way to do that is, in fact, to download the presentation as a PDF document. So click on that. And in fact, I've already exported this presentation as a PDF just to save time, although it, it, it's pretty quick. So we could, we could do that again. We'll, we'll call it uh, image processing. 
So there we go, and it's an Adobe document, uh, Acrobat document, and we can save that. We've got our PDF file. So what are we going to do with that? We've got now we've got a PDF. We've got two PDFs. We've got our um, images as a PDF, and now we've got these text files, and we need to merge them. So how are we going to go about that? Well, the way to do that is a little bit um, lengthy, but not 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 too bad. It's it's pretty slick, uh, and it works extremely well and it will produce you a set of individual slides that then can be used for multiple presentations uh, and um, can be incorporated, incorporated into the Lightroom catalog. So what we've got to do is we've got to go into Adobe Photoshop and here is, uh, rather than searching about for the folder, um, I'd opened it before, here is the, the PDF file that we want to open and um, we'll just open that and you can see what happens here is that Photoshop shows us the individual slide pages and asks us which we want to import well we want to actually import them all so we'll select them all so shift and click and there they all are selected I'm not going to change anything here um, open in reverse order what does it really matter as long as we know which ones we're looking at and I'm going to leave the size there, the, the, uh, as they are. It that colour will be more than adequate for this. We don't need to go into any uh, crazy details. And we're leaving the larger size because we want images that we can then work with and resize. So click open. And as you can see, Photoshop is opening each of those individual slides from the PDF file as a separate image. and is formatting them out in the screen ratio that we we originally had in the par, uh, in the presentation in Google Slides. So there are all of our slides as images and we've got them there. As you can see here, they're in PDF format. So basically we'll want them really smaller than that to manage um, well, we could keep them, to be honest, we could just then save those um, to the hard drive, but I save them as, as JPEGs, keeps it simple, keeps the file size small, we're not going to do anything further with them. So I would save them as JPEGs and quite simply, uh, an image like that, file, save as, um, now you can change the name, so um, Let's see, what was that one? Let's cancel that for a moment. Right, processing enhancements. So uh, file, save as, um, change the name to processing enhancement, change the file type to JPEG and save that and leave it on those settings. And there we go. And we've got file saved as a um, a slide or as a JPEG. Keep a note of where we're saving those. In this case I'm saving them in to a slides folder and as you can see I have uh, a number of slides here that I have previously uh, used. You repeat that then from all of, for all of those. You don't need to save the PDFs. If you go to close that down it'll ask if you want to save it but we don't need to save it, so we can we can close that down. It'll go to the next one, and so on. So you repeat that process. Um, so you can save them as PDFs if you want. Um, it probably doesn't make any difference if you're using uh, Lightroom anyway. Just uh, they just need saved. I just prefer to take up less space saving them as as JPEGs. So with that done, then our next step is to go into Lightroom. And we've got to import them into Lightroom. So let's go into the library module in Lightroom and we will click on import. And up comes the import dialog. And in the import dialog, we will locate our file, which is in uh, on my C drive. And so it's actually, I have them in my Google Drive folder so I can share them with my laptop. So there's the slides and I have them set destination folders are sorted by date and you can see other slides that I've, I've previously imported 
And so that I don't want to re-import or, or import all of those. So I'm going to, um, let's uncheck all, and then we'll bring this, and there's the, the one there that I actually um, duplicated. So we'll take that one off. Now, these are on my hard drive, internal hard drive in a Google Drive folder. It's unlikely I'm going to move them, depending on where you have your Lightroom catalog and where you store your images then you can select the destination folder for those. I don't want to rename them, so I'm going to take that off and we're going to copy them over to the same uh, folder as the original slideshow. So uh, we'll copy those across and import those. So here they are appearing and there they are. It's quite a quick transfer internally and the JPEGs, the small file size. So we've got those and uh, Lightroom by default will show us uh, the most recent import. So we've now got these seven text slides. So what do we need to do? Well, we actually need to then put them into the slides of show collection because that's where we need them. So I'm going to select them all and I'm going to drag them into the slideshow collection. And then we're going to look at the slideshow collection. Let's get that. There we go. There we have them. But as you see, they're all at the end. But if you have watched the previous video, you would know that we can then move these around. So what do we want to do? Well, actually, that one there, I would like at the end of those. And this one is the first one and the rest are in the order uh, that I would want them and I want them at the beginning of my presentation so I can move them we can do that to select them all and then move them up to the beginning of the presentation so now we have an, uh, reordered those for our slideshow um, and there we have them in the slideshow and we should be able to preview that. And I, I have been having some glitches, so let's just keep our fingers crossed that we do see the slideshow. There we go, there is our title page, and we're on manual, so we can move across to these. And there is our slideshow. And again, we can save that, and now we've got text slides mixed in with our image slides for the presentation and if, and if you want to have the text slides appearing at different stages to emphasize well it's just a matter of going back into the library module and within the slideshow we can move those about we can you know have that one in there and we can intersperse uh, the text and, and actually you might want that to be at the the end of the slideshow so there you have it so we have now a new ordered slideshow um, and that's our last image and there is our first image in our slideshow and again export as a PDF and we've got a self-contained manually controlled slideshow that optimally displays images and allows the incorporation of text slides as well. So that's it. I'll put a link to the previous presentation below this and thanks for watching.